I just bought the top 10 laptop cooling pads on Amazon. In today's video, we're gonna be testing which one's the best. In order to get started, let's go ahead and run over the various contestants we have, their pricing, and their build quality. To get started, here's how they ranked on Amazon at the time of filming. Ranked at number one is the Havit HVF2026, which is a laptop cooling pad that uses a full mesh design on top with three blue fans with no linear adjustments. It just has an on and off switch. The cooling pad has two ways of adjustments for the legs, up and down, and the power is passed through a USB cable that also has passed through for other devices. Ranked second on Amazon is the Langstar 6 fan cooler, which this one has a little more of a rigid mesh plastic design with blue accents. It also features six fans and two scroll wheels to adjust the three larger fans and the three smaller fans in a linear path. It also has three-way adjustment for its legs. This allows it to have a version all the way up, in the middle, and laying flat. Additionally, the cooler is powered by a detachable braided USB cable similar to the Habit. Next up, ranked at number three on Amazon is the Ice Coral Laptop Cooling Pad, which features a six fan design that can be controlled using a small LCD display. These fans have six different modes, and additionally, the stand has RGB with seven different modes for various different colors. This all can be controlled by the same LCD display, and for adjustments on the stand, it can be moved in six different directions with this wire design hinge. This cooler is also powered by a detachable USB cable with pass-through. Additionally, one other feature that this laptop cooling pad has is it has a built-in phone stand. Next at number four is the Ashen S035, which is a blue LED laptop cooling pad that features a five fan design with blue LEDs. The fans have variable speed adjustments using a scroll wheel in the back. It also uses the same wire hinge design that the Ice Coral has, but only has about five different levels of adjustment. Lastly, the cooler is also powered by a detachable braided USB cable with USB pass-through. Ranked at number five is the Kyoli RGB laptop cooling pad, which features a six fan design nearly identical to the Ice Coral. However, it has a little bit of a more squared off boxy design. It also has the LCD controller that allows you to control the RGB and fans. Additionally, it uses that very same wireframe design with up to nine ways of adjustment and it has an included phone holder that attaches on the side. However, one of the downsides of this model is that I did notice during the testing that the fan was nearly unbearable to listen to due to it creating a high pitched noise that none of the other competitors had. Ranked at number six is the Lines Laptop Cooling Pad. This model features two large blue LED fans that are controlled using a scroll wheel on the back. For height adjustment, this uses a similar wireframe design that a lot of the other laptop cooling pads use with five ways of adjustability. Additionally, the Line Laptop Cooler is also powered by USB with a USB pass-through. Ranked at number seven is the Kutek which features an LED fan design that has five different fans that don't have really any control with any linear motion. All you can do is turn on the large fans and the smaller fans with these two individual buttons on the back. The stand itself uses the same kind of wireframe design that most of these other ones used as well, and it ended up actually being a little bit more sturdy in my testing than the other brands. Lastly, the cooling pad is also powered via USB, and it stores actually perfectly under the laptop with the built-in cable. This also allows it to have two USB pass-throughs when most of the other systems only have one. Ranked at number eight is the Kyben Laptop Cooler, which features nearly an identical design to the Lines Laptop Cooler mentioned earlier, with the same two blue LED fan setup controlled using a scroll wheel on the back. The only main difference with this design is it actually has a built-in phone holder that wasn't built in on the other model. Everything else was very similar. Ranked at number nine at the time of filming was actually the exact same cooler that was ranked at number four, which is the Ashen S035. However, this one, instead of having blue LEDs, has red LEDs. It ended up ranking nine on the top 10 list and had basically an identical feature set to the blue LED model. Ranked at number 10 is this Targus Chill Pad, which features the most unique design of the entire bunch. It has a two small fan design with a fixed position that doesn't really allow for a lot of adjustability. However, it's covered in a soft neoprene material that's perfect for if you want to have the device on your lap. And it's great because there's not a ton of flex and the flex it does has is perfect to allow it to cushion to your lap. 
This is a little different from the rest of the products that we are talking about here today. However, it was important to include because it was ranked number 10 at the time of filming. In addition, the Targus actually has a fixed USB cable for power. As you guys can see, we have a bunch of great contenders here, but in order to know how well they actually perform, we ran some simulated benchmarks. So let's go ahead and dive into those and run over the details. Before we get into the testing, let's run over the system that we're going to be using to stress test these laptop coolers. We're going to be using an older system as this is most likely the best case for these coolers. And I have a system that notoriously has overheated. The system that we chose to use was an ASUS GL522. It's a 15 inch laptop that has an i7-6700HQ and a GTX 960M. It also has 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 240 gigabyte solid state drive. We'll be running everything on Windows 10 just to keep everything simple. In order to test max CPU temperature, we ran a 64 system stability test. This allowed us to see how hot the system would get under a full CPU load. The results we saw were actually pretty surprising. We saw that all of the systems did pretty well with anywhere between a 1-7% to decrease in temperature, but we saw about three systems really stand out. This included the Ice Coral, which only reached 77 degrees, and the Langstar, as well as the Kaibin, which only reached 78. These were the top three performers in this test, and all of them did quite well. The next test that we ran was called PC Mark 10. PC Mark 10 uses a bunch of simulated tests to go ahead and see how your system would perform in real world scenarios. This includes everything from simulated 3D renderings to gaming to web browsing. When running this test, we saw about three systems really take a commanding lead, which was the Kaioli, Kaibin, and Ice Coral. All the systems were pretty close, but those three systems did perform the best and got about a 2% increase or so over the stock configuration. It's not a lot, but it does show that the system cooling is helping. The last test we ran was Passmark's PC performance test. This does a very similar thing to PC Mark 10, but it's done in a little bit of a different fashion. It also tests some additional features such as drive utilization, drive testing, and stuff like that that are also dependent because we were using an M.2 drive on heat control. When doing this, we went ahead and saw that there was one system that really performed the best, which was the Havit. This system, despite only being a three fan design, ended up having by far one of the best scores with a 5.7% lead over the stock configuration. One other important thing that we saw was the Targus actually hurt performance in this simulated test. This is something we tried recreating to see if it ha would happen again, and it actually did. Uh, so this was a considerable result. We also saw the Kaibin not have a considerable change either, which was kind of interesting to see that the Havit was able to make such a big leap. Lastly, we wanted to see how noisy these laptop coolers were, because if the system is loud, it doesn't really make sense to go ahead and have it still. So we ran all of the laptop coolers, and we found that the Ice Coral actually was the loudest, which was at 43.6, but we also saw the Havit, who had a three-fan design, only reached 38.9, which was the best performer. This was on a noise floor of about 37 decibels, which was pretty interesting to see that that habit was whisper quiet despite being run at full speed. Uh, in conclusion, we found three laptop coolers we would actually recommend based on design, performance, and noise output. The first recommendation I would give would be for the Ice Coral laptop cooling pad as it clearly performed the best when it actually came to cooling the laptop. It also performed quite well when it was run in PC Mark and Passmark's performance test. So I would say it's a pretty good offering. It might be a great option for you, especially if you want the RGB functionality that comes with it. The next recommendation I would have would be for the Havit. The reason for this is that although it didn't rank first for the PC Mark test or in the temperature test, it ended up beating out the competition for the PC Pass Mark test, which was pretty considerable to see because it actually beat all of the other systems out by a considerable margin. Additionally, I found that the design was one of the best uh, as it felt the most rigid, especially with its fixed leg design. It was a little more sturdy, especially when you put a little more weight on it. It also was the quietest system in the bunch, which is quite important when you're looking for a laptop cooling pad. Before we go on, here are the two notable mentions. First is the Kaioli. This is a notable mention because of the performance it got. However, the one I got 
looks to have a defect. I can't give it my recommendation because of this, but this doesn't mean your, your experience will be the same. However, mine did have this really loud, annoying sound coming out of it. Additionally, the Targus would also get my recommendation in a kind of a more notable fashion. It did not perform the best by any means. However, it's not really designed for the same functionality that these other laptop cooling pads have. It's really designed to sit on your lap, and if that's what you're looking for, this is a perfect laptop cooling pad for you. And finally, our last actual recommendation is the Budget King, which is the Kaiban, which was the cheapest unit that we tested at only $10.99 right now, and it was very comparable across the entire board, and even one in PC Mark 10. This is it's great to see that one of the cheapest coolers out there performed with some that were three times the price. If I was going to purchase one today for my own system, this is probably the one I would go with unless I needed it to be on my lap. The target. With this said, thank you so much for watching this video. We really enjoyed making this for you and we hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you find any of these products interesting, go ahead and check the link in the description down below where we'll have all the products linked. Additionally, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.